and I would order and I did six starting out because you could bundle and save. So I knew I was always going to get a little bit of profit back because of the bundle and save. And, um, but like I got the new catalog the other day and I already have my next five months planned. Oh, wow. How do you come up with, well, I'll save it till the end. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, like basically what I do, my crates are only $20 each. And then I add on a shipping fee because all of my people live out of state. So I started out with a $6 shipping rate. And I think in like November, I upped it to seven because I knew I was putting heavier items in the crates and because the shipping rate went up for the holidays. Right. You know, some people are like, it went up. And I'm like, a dollar, a dollar. It went up a dollar. You guys can live with that. You know, like, and if I don't you bought charge 20 bucks from my website, it would be $8. Exactly. And that's what I tell them. I'm like, you can order online and it's more expensive. Um, online, you're not going to get the extras. Online, you're not going to get the samples. And I always, so I put $20, around $20. A lot of my people who like order every single month and some months I go over $20, some months I'm like $19 but I don't, I do not include the price of the items. So some consultants will put in there like what they have, like what they're including in their crate and how much it costs. And I don't because I just feel like they can go online and look. If they think I'm ripping them off or whatever, they can go online and look. But um, it really did start because I got the scent of the month and the scent of the month club is about to increase back to the nine bars rather than the brick. Thank goodness. But I started getting that mainly because I wanted the flyers and the stickers and I wanted to smell it before it was released. But then I was like, shit, what do I do with nine bars? And so I started, so I started the scent crate and my boxes are little y'all. My boxes are six by four by three. Okay. These are small ones. I would prefer a six by four by four but I couldn't find any on Amazon. And I'll, um, later on tonight, I'll include some of the links on Amazon that I use. But like, this is gonna be my February crate. I don't have a theme for it yet, but I bought these supplies months ago. Okay. <laughs> I probably bought these back in November. And I'm including um, Eskimo Kiss room spray. Ooh. It's leaving, but I like the kiss theme. Hey, okay. Alice, we see you coming on. Um, I'm doing a mystery man car bar. And I am doing a bar of blueberry cheesecake. Okay. I personally don't like bakery scents, but that doesn't mean my customers won't like it. Right. So I always just throw in something random. And I know that people rave about blueberry. And actually it was because... I had a customer that was referred to me because she was like in dire need of blueberry cheesecake. And I was like, I don't know why y'all love it so much. <laughs> and then, you know, so I put this in this one. Can I help you? <laughs> Get out of here, boy. <laughs> um, so these are going to be your nut. Um, and then I do samples. And today when I was watching this video, I heard like the word use deluxe samples. So your other customers think they're getting something deluxe, kind of like, hey, you know, like I want something deluxe. So um, like in this box, I think I might just use some um, samples out of like body samples from, you know, wherever, the Scentsy Success Shop. And then um, this is just an example of one of them, like a, or a nice size sample of wax. And I don't, I just pulled this out of my box because I actually don't know what samples I'm putting in this, but give them a ample size sample of wax. And usually like if I do do the um, scent of the month, <laughs> out of here. Um, and since you get it the month before, I, I like to try to put a big sample of the scent of the month for the following month in it. Oh, that's a good idea. 
so that I'm using up some of those bars and so that they, you know, get an idea of what they're going to get probably the next month. So then I bought these little, um, this is, this is just an extra. This, I'm just going over my February box, but this is a chapstick, chapstick keychain thing. Ooh. I got like 24 of them for like $15 on Amazon. And Link, please. yeah, and like I have a Cricut, so I just use some iron on to iron on their initial to customize it. And then you can pick up, like I got three sticks of chapstick at the dollar store, three yeah. for a dollar. So I'm spending less than $2 on their extra. And it's something personalized and it goes with the theme, you know, like kiss me or something. I don't know. Soft lips. I don't know, but right. I mean, you can't kiss with some chap lips, right? So then you get chapstick to go with it. And it's just little things. Um, that is so cute. Some of my other like extras that I picked up, this is from one of my favorite like nonprofits. Oops, it's upside down. Um, and it's just like a wish bracelet. I included this in my mermaid box that I had in May. Um, I had a, I think April I did like a, trip to paradise or something and so i just created like i went on i don't i just googled image of like generic trip ticket and printed those out stuck them on the top of their box and like wrote their names in they got these inflatable little drink holders oh cute and so we had this we had this store in texas that i lived for because they would basically buy pallets of stuff and then they would sell it and like on fridays it was like five dollars and then as the week went down it the items got cheaper and so i would go in there on dollar days and get boxes of these or what was something else that i got i got like luggage tags um so if you have a store like that <laughs> seek it out <laughs> it was amazing so, because I got like random stuff like that. Okay, so um, there's that. Like, what are some of my other extras? I'm just going to go over extras real quick because I have them like in the way kind of. Um, so these came from the dollar spot last year for March. I got all the green, green, a variety of green ones and then put a pair of dollar store uh, St. Patrick's Day socks in them. Okay. And so, and I think maybe even like the, you know, like the little green beads, cause I did like a lucky leprechaun crate last year for March and I just filled it with green things. I had, um, sea salt avocado. I had the lime something. I just got green colored, like things that were this, the Scentsy sold that already had green labels on them. So I didn't have to fancy them up. Mm -hmm. So there's that um i'm planning on doing a like a spa day for may crate because it's mother's day right. and i'm going to include Ooh, some poofies. little puff balls you can get these at the dollar tree like dollar tree is my jam for extras because it's cheap right um april is month of the military child so i'm doing a kid um crate using the buddy clips and I think I'm gonna do like, um, those are $15. So I think I was gonna do um, like a mini or a Mickey, the bar, the wax bar. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about doing scent circles, but then I'd have to like throw in something else or lower the price of them for that month or something. But like today I was walking down the Valentine's Day aisle at Walmart and they had these little kaleidoscope things. <gasps> And it's 98 cents for six of them, you know? So, like, toss that in the box with it. And um, at Christmas time, I offered up a kid's one with the um, Bitty Buddies. Mm. And I threw in, like, cr like craft kits that you can get from Michael's with a 40% off coupon. And there's a variety of them in there. And I just put them in a new bag and stuck it in there with them. Oh, that is so cool. Um. Oh, and then another place that I like to go lately is like Ross and you can get like in their healthcare sections boxes of like these were like five for like four dollars. 
At Ross's? And these were, these were 10, well, like five, like 10 of these in a box for $4. And so I put these, the under eye mask, in my January crate because it was like, what did I have in January? I had saddle up for the new year. Um, let me think, what did I have? Saddle up for the new year. Um, just breathe when things get tough because every now and then it will. Ooh. And so like, I and then I had- creative. And so, like, I just went with things that were kind of like, like, how could I? And some of my crates have been like seriously over the top, and other ones, I'm like, here's what you're getting this month. Have fun. <laughs> you, like, because I realize that people don't really care about like all the extras that you slap on and try to make it look cute. Like, they just love the product that you're giving them. Yeah. So, um, and that's really what it is. Like I do, like I said, I do the $20 crates and I only offer six per month because that was a good starting number for me. You know, like the bundle and save. And so what if I only sell five? Well, cool. I got three more, three items. And I save back some of those items. Um, like if I don't sell all six, I think I've only not sold six, like one or two times, but um, like mystery crates. I did mystery crates in November, I think. And I literally just went through my inventory and was like, I didn't like the smell of this. I don't really like this one. I got all this extra. And I like created six more crates and just stuck away like bakery, uh, pine, you know, and just like kind of themed them up. And then I just threw in extras. That was the one month that I did extras that weren't identical in every box. So. Um, but so yeah, like just go with the lady today puts in the lady I watched today, put in like a party order every month. So she, her aim is every single month to get 12 because that's a decent number to get up to $200. Mm -hmm. And she balanced it out where like she charged $25 per crate plus tax on, I mean, plus shipping on top of that. And she said that um, when she's working her numbers and entering the items that are in her crate, she doesn't like to spend, so when, when she looks at the subtotal, she'll divide it by 12, or we're just gonna go with 12 for this idea. And if it's around 20, no more than 21, after she's used the bundles and saves, and um, the rewards and everything for that party, she likes to keep it around $20 because that gives her $5 to cover the charge for the box that she had to buy, the packing, and any of the extras and samples. So I was like- But it's still like $25 worth of product though, right? It's 25, yeah, it's still 25 because you cannot charge, okay, for scent crates, you can only charge for full size products. So if I'm sending, okay, so I just bought these one ounce bottles because I plan on sending out some pet samples mm -hmm. and um, I cannot charge anybody for a sample. So no matter how big of a sample and how many I'm giving them, I cannot be like, well, that bar cost me six. So I'm going to charge them each a dollar for the sample that I just split six ways. You can't do that you can only charge for full size product. So what she does, what the lady did today is like, you know, if she bought all of these as bundle and saves. She, she, they're still getting full size products that equal the $25 or the right. $20, whatever. But she lowers the subtotal that she is paying for at the end because she's using the, the extra five dollars or four dollars to cover all of her extras and all of her packing fees and everything because i buy boxes i buy these boxes i got 50 of them the other day for like 18 19 bucks i think and but you know like i don't include the price of the box right and i i give them 20 dollars worth of product but like i said a lot of the product that I, I wasn't using scent crates originally for PRV. 
they are huge for PRV. But I was using them just as money, like, oh, I have a party to cash out and I don't really need anything. So I'm going to buy stuff and make a scent crate with it. And then I would get profit off of it mm -hmm. because, you know, but um, it's huge for PRV. Like it is, if you can get even the six people that I get every month, that would be, you know, 120 PRV every single month. Right. You know, but I just like to have my stuff on hand so that I can, so, but if you submit, a, if you think ahead and know what you're going to put in a crate, and that's why I say start with six, because it, then it won't, it's not, you know, paying out of pocket too much. And then you can buy up those things during LTOs or whatever right. to put in. You know, like my, my December, my December box had the itty bitties in it or the buddies and the sugar scrubs that were LTOs. And I took a $10 pre-order for those in October. You so were that, preparing. So that I didn't lose, but I could plan ahead and have all of those items submitted October 1st right and not lose out on them because I had already planned ahead to use them in my scent crate so um so samples for scent crates um okay so this was one that I used it had a spray on it I used it um it's a two ounce bottle maybe two and a half um all-purpose cleaner it had a spray, I have a spray top for it too, um, but I've used all the spray tops, so now I just have these. I could use it for um, like dog wash, the mm. Best Bud Suds. I could use these bottles because I think, I don't have a dog, but I assume that you'd probably need over an ounce of, maybe an ounce of soap, I don't know. Um, Honestly, that stuff a little goes a long way. Does it? Okay. Yes. Because I'm that's a whole nother thing i'm planning on doing those review boards and using mm, yeah the, the pet stuff because i don't have a pet so i don't promote the pet line and so i don't sell like i don't think i've ever sold like i i've talked my mom into buying some and my friend who was fostering dogs and stuff like that but like i haven't and they use like party rewards so anyways um but i just found these like dollar spray bottles i mean not dollar one ounce ones that i was going to use like the um freshen up pup and put those in there for that um okay so here's another like i said earlier the samples that you can get from the sensei success shop get those because it's kind of a pain in the butt to make samples i was trying to make samples for a lady one day with and like this is uh, lotion and a heat seal bag because I ordered these the wrong size and it was kind of a pain in the butt but anyways um, dollar store again I got these little sponges they were eight for a dollar and I cut them in half and you can use those for the dish soap samples and I just squirt the soap directly onto the sponge and like kind of fold it in half before I stick it in there so it doesn't like smudge everywhere. Oh yeah. Um, and like, so that it kind of absorbs and just put a note on there, like ready to wash dishes, add water, and then they're ready to scrub away. So, but I mean, for a dollar, you get 16 samples. So, right. you know, um, these little, um, bottles that I use for room sprays, mostly for room sprays. Oh, fragrance mist. I use them for fragrance mist too. They are, I don't know how many, two mLs maybe? Because I, last year during SFR, I watched some lady and she was like, don't give away the cow. You want to give them a sample so that they want to buy more. If you give them half a bottle, they're not going to need to buy from you. For yeah. months because you've just given them you know but honestly like this is probably 20 sprays out of this and i use it a lot like i and i you, i buy these little things off of amazon i don't know what they're called sprayer things 
<laughs> oh, but, the dropper. Yeah, yeah. No, uh -huh. it's a sprayer. So you, oh. so I just take this metal part off and pop this on, and then I can spray it directly into the bottle so that it's not like anything super wild and crazy. So that is, yeah, you're going to have to share all those links because I was yeah. taking needle nose pliers and taking the whole metal lid off and then using a dropper and we're, we're talking mess. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so <laughs> even, so I think, um, so what I do with these, with the fragrance mist, because fragrance mist is a good one for samples because let me tell you, you can get a ton of samples, especially if you're only filling one MLs. You can get 125 samples of it for $9 or, you know, if you use your rewards or whatever else. Um, and I just unscrew this and use a straw and like, you know how like you mm -hmm. used to you know, like feed babies drinks, you know, with a straw. Oh, yeah. That's what I do to get this. Or I can, or I bought the, I might have bought in the droppers from the Sensei Success shop one time, the oil droppers. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's that. Ooh. But these little heat seal bags, I prefer the bigger ones so that you can put half a sponge in there. And these aren't full size sponges that I found the other day. What are these? These are not what it says on here. One by, no, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of numbers on this and I'm like, I just want a measurement, but it has a lot of measurements. I don't know why. It's so weird. Anyways, but this is a good little baggy thing. Um, oh, so like a couple other like random ideas for in the crate. I brought it up. Oh, I did, um, when we moved, when was that? In June, my scent crate was um, Bloom Where You Are Planted and kind of did like a, you guys know we're military and we move a lot and we just experienced another move. But my goal was for me and my family to bloom while we're here, like, blah, blah. So I did a fragrance flower, I think a bar maybe, a wax bar, because that would have put it, I don't know what I did. A, I know I did a fragrance flower. And then I bought these little disc things off of Amazon. It's cracked, but it's like the little wooden ones that you use for the ornaments, but oh, they're yeah. smaller. They're smaller. And then I bought markers, permanent markers off of Amazon. And I just put one marker and um, a coaster in the box with it. Oh, so extra. they could color the, the fragrance flower and use that as a coaster yep. for the, yep. that's cool. So that and I think I like include it like there's a coaster here so that your fragrance flower doesn't get ruined and you can color with the whatever. I put something in there with it so that they knew like what the purpose of the marker was and everything. But so the point of scent crates, obviously, is because people get stuck on what they're buying. I, you know, oh, I got into, I didn't honestly like. When I joined Sensi, I was like, why is Sensi going out of their lane? They are wax and warmers. They need to stick to it. And I was so like, why are they trying to come up with the dish soap? And why are they trying to come up with body? Like there's other companies that do that, but it's so good that like once I tried it, I was like, oh, this is why. This we, is the reason. This is like, because they're good at making it good. Like, you know, you don't need bath and body works anymore when you have Scentsy scrub and whatever else. So Very the good. purpose of the purpose of the crates are so that you can get new products into the hands of your customers and products that they might probably wouldn't have tried if you, um, if they, if you hadn't sent them one. Okay. Um, I, I never try or I never tell them what's going to be in it. So that way they can't be like, mm, I don't like leather, you know, well, too bad. You're getting it anyway. <laughs> like, so I don't ever tell them, like, if I have a customer who says, well, what's in your scent crate this month, I, I will private message them and say, um, well, my, my scent crates are 
you know, a mystery. That's part of the fun of them. I can tell you the theme and I can tell you that there's going to be a room spray, a car bar and a wax bar in it. Cool. You know, and sometimes I don't even tell them that I'm just like, Oh, I can't tell you, but here's the theme. Cause sometimes maybe you don't even know, but <laughs> like what you're going to put in it. So you might not even, but like, if you just have that idea, like, so you want to get a variety of scents and products into the hands of your customers without them saying, Oh, I don't like leather. Or, I don't, I don't need a body wash or whatever, because they'll probably like it. Like things I do try to stay away from are, I haven't done a pet crate. Um, when I was talking about the samples I was going to do here, I'm trying to come up with like a review board so I can say who has a pet. And then I can send them these samples with the understanding that they're going to post to their page or several reviews and share my link. So that's a whole nother thing, but <laughs> that was my plan with those. With I think that's line. a great, great idea. I love it. The review board, like I am yeah. like mind blown with <laughs> as much stuff as been like, yeah. we're, we're what 21 days into the new year. And I've got so many ideas that I'm like a squirrel, like, Ooh, I want to do that. <laughs> oh, I want to do that. Oh, that's God. what I am. You should, the other day I came up with all these different flyers. Cause I'm like, people need to start sharing my information. People need to start like, cause it does not me no good when they share it to my VIP page because those are already my customers. They right. already know what's good about Sensi. Like I need them. I need my customers to share to their friends. And so like I came up with like a new thing and in my scent crates, I always put like snap brag and tag share to your page, share to your page and whatever. Right. That wasn't working. People would still share to my VIP page and not share. Oh, I got 10 minutes. Okay. Um, oh, you see that too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought for some odd reason that I had upgraded. So um, yeah. we, you can finish that up and then we can open it for questions if Madeline yeah. has any. Um, and then, oh, the, another thing that like the lady said today was like, even if you don't get any takers that say like, oh, I want that, make it anyways and be like, look what my, my scent crate was last month. Look what you missed out on. And so then they get like, oh wait, maybe I want to order that this month. And even if it's like, if you get no takers, but you have inventory sitting around, like, you know, even if it's personal inventory, who cares if the bar is like half used or whatever, stick it in a box stick on a cute label. Oh, labels. I do everything in Avery. Avery.com. It's free. I use sticky paper that I get from Amazon. Okay. So hold on one second. I'm going to grab the, uh, this is my binder that I attempted to start last summer about like, but it, it does help. Like I just put in my sticker that I use with my theme, like this was stuff that I put in my November crate or my oh. September, whatever. So I make an extra label that I would put on the box and stick it on a piece of paper. And then like, this was my so fresh and so clean. And I created tips and tricks to use um, washer whiffs for and the all purpose cleaner and stuff that I had put samples in there of. And then I just write a list of everything that was in that crate. That way I know, and I can try to avoid repeats. Mm, that's um, a good idea. And sample with a purpose. I learned that last year in SFR too, use, if you're gonna be sampling, use scents that we have several products of. So use Blue Grotto, Black, black Raspberry Vanilla, um, Luna. Luna. Um, I wrote a list of them the other day aloe water and cucumber like use the amazon rain use those as your samples for the most part because you have some of them have like 22 items 22 products that you can buy and luna so, <laughs> so um i think that's everything 
so I did, I'll just say like, the, you asked like how I get plan ahead so far ahead. Mm -hmm. So I noticed on um, the top 20 that French toast for the bring back my bars, French toast was on the top 20 oh. on the last day. Mm -hmm. So my brother always says French toast, French toast. And I was like, oh my God, I'm buying him like a six pack of that and sending it to him when it comes out. And so then that triggered like, wait, Father's Day is in June when the Bring Back My Bars come out. Mm. And so I'm going to do inspired by the men in my life crate. I'm going to do French toast. I'm going to do my hero. I'm going to do weathered <sighs> leather because my dad's a pi. I mean, my brother is a pilot. So I'm going to do weathered leather. Um, and so <laughs> I'm going to cry because I think I'm going to do that too. Yeah. So I do like, I just kind of look at something like April is month of the military child. I'm like, I love that little Highland bot or the clip. Cute. Yes. So I was like, I'm going to buy one for myself, but I can offer a kid's one, a kid's crate that month. And I can, boys will get that and the girls will get the elephant. And like, all you have to tell me is that you want it and you have to tell me the gender that you want. And then I'm either going to do the Highland cow and like, oh boy, the Mickey Mouse, you know, hmm. soot circle or something. Maybe I'll even do if it comes up. Do those come in um, set packs? I don't think they do. I think just circles and... Uh, I, anyway, I have to look. That's just but, kind of like what I go with and get my ideas like randomly. I just flip through the yeah. catalog and see what kind of goes together. So, What would be your best advice on how to roll it out? Like if one were to want to start doing it, mm -hmm. how, would you, how would you suggest that they roll it out? Well, like I said, I do six. So I make it an exclusive thing. Like I only have six of these available and start with that number that you can bundle and save. And, you know, so that you can just, I have this, I have this idea that I want to try. And, you know, this is, I'm only going to have six of these available this month. This is going to be the theme. And like, you can, you know, pre-plan it so that you're not just be like, um, does anybody want a scent crate this month? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like have it already worked out so that like, you know what the theme is going to be. Like I have not posted my February crate yet because I have all the stuff, but I don't have like a theme put together for it yet. Right. And so I'm like, eh. um, so I I like to have that theme so that you can present that at least to them with uh -huh. a cute graphic and say like, Hey, scent crate this month or next month is going to be, cause you want to advertise it the month prior. Right. So you so, can get all the, all the mm -hmm. items and Especially things. Especially if you're not pre ordering the items, you don't want to wait. You want to order, you want to start posting it the month before so that by the first week of the month, you are ordering the product and you're mailing it out by like the third week. Okay. I mean, cool. depending on like how you, how you want to run it or whatever, but that's always my goal is to ship my crate for the next month. No later than that first week of the month. Okay. You know what I mean? So that like, you're always kind of planning ahead anyways, so that if you can, pre-order things you can yeah. especially like if you're like I know next month I want to put you know shimmer samples in it and you have an extra ten dollars in the party that you have open right now you can grab a, bo a bottle of it and so that you have it on hand to right. make samples so Madeline do you have any questions we got about two and a half minutes left I need to upgrade. Um, <laughs> I did, and I forgot what it was. Oh, I, can, uh, just, I can post it in the comments later. Yeah, yeah just tag I'm me sorry. later or whatever. I know. My cat is, like, all over me, and he's trying to. 
I know. Well, <laughs> I, I just tried to bring mine up here because she kept pawing on me, but um, I did scent crates. I tried to do it, and this was before Scentsy came out with the whiff box. So I was like at the kind of like the beginning of when all the the consultants were still like on board and it was rolling out i only did it for about three months because i couldn't get like more than three people to come on so i realized i was kind of doing it excuse my language like half-assed mm -hmm. like i wasn't presenting it right actually seeing all these videos like andrew zester he free he he made like this awesome video and how he presented it and everything he's super creative um and then watching the video for today i was only able to watch a little bit i need to go back and watch mm. it when my kids aren't trying to kill each other but uh, yeah she i mean the lady that i watched today her training was 90 minutes long and i was like well i already have it was 90 minutes yeah but I was like doing dishes and everything else while I was listening to her. And I asked her a lot of questions because I was like, how do you do this? How do you do that? Like, because she says that she has like over 30 orders. And I was like, well, I ship all of mine. Like, how are you getting these customers? And she was like, I ship most of mine too. They'll pay shipping. She charges $8 for her shipping. But she like, um, I got new box sizes. She said that a nine by five by three box will fit inside of a bubbled flat rate. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. You can order free to be shipped to your house bundles of flat rate um, bubble mailers. Right. From the priority mail. Yes. I use pirate ship to print all my labels because it's cheaper and you can just walk into the post office and don't have to stand in line. So I, leave mine I, I turned in my Allison. Box. Yeah, or you can do that. Like I turned Allison onto it after I was like, Allison, why are you spending all this time in line?